Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Let's just thank him. Let's just thank him. Let's just thank him. Thank him. Thank him. His oh. mercies are new every morning. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. King of kings. Thank you, Lord. King of glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Lord. For your presence. For your grace. We're grateful, Lord. For what you are doing in our midst. Thank you, King of Kings. Yes, Thank we're you, grateful. Lord. Of days. We're grateful. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Just lift your hands, speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. All of me. Lift your hands, pray in tongues, pray in tongues. Maka rakatosh. Raka kakatosh. Lord, I ask you to pray. Rika baha soko praniza. Zebra ha tibi shadaha. Raso shabaha. Raka kakatoso. Riba su. Ashaba, ashaba. Shidaba, Shidaba, Yom Lom, Shidaba, Yom Lom, Rika Duja, Barakata, Yom Lom, Sashada, Yom Lom, Mika Rakatosh, Yom Lom, Rakapakakata, Li Rusha, Marusha Ba, Misa Kitaba, Lekreketosh, La Rush, Masiaga Supreme, Li Krakakatusha Ba. Rika kakato sokopa Rika tusaki arakatish Lekro shalia baraniga sigaba Make ya paraketosh Maka kakata kaka Raka kaka patakani ya karagi ya su Raka baka tush Raka baka kakata Zika raka tatia Raka kaparagi ya sa Raka pa shaka Rika tush Raku shaba Reka kadis Makia Barakia, Holy Spirit, Rakatush, Rosha Bakas, Send your Spirit, Rika Toshavia, Holy Spirit, Rosha Barika Kakatush, Send your Spirit, Rika Katush, Holy Spirit, Rika Toshaba, Sikati, Send your Spirit, Masike, Masike, Masike. Send your spirit, Holy Spirit, let it fill this place, let it saturate this place, let this place be saturated with your glory, Father we need your glory, we need your glory, Lord, we need your glory, Asian of days, the lead of the valley, the lion of the tribe of Judah, El Shaddai, you are more than what people say. Raki Abasa. Raka Katush. Zareke Jabahati. Eradish. Mashaba. Raki Abah. Ziko Shaba. King of Kings. King of Glory. Anamaso. Raki Abasu, Mashadi, 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 
Mashadi 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 Maraki asu shabehe Raki asu karabazo Raki shobahatush Za zopreke Mekri asuka Laru shabia Andehe Rako shabahasuka Change our lives God Change our lives Change our lives Change our lives Change our lives Lord I depend on you Maya Karadus Lord I depend on you You are my source of strength You are my helper You are my provider You are the strong tower Where the righteous run to And they are saved Lord we run unto you You are our shield You are our refuge You are our advocate You are our teacher You are our judge You are our defender You are our healer You are our burden lifter Oh ancient of days Oh ancient of days We lift your name We exalt you Beside there is none like you Oh Jesus Oh Jesus Oh Jesus Oh Jesus You are the word of God You are the personality of the Holy Spirit You are the personality of the Holy Spirit We can't move if you don't move Break our hearts Lord You say I shall remove the heart of stone And I will give you the heart of flesh that you'll be able to hear my word you'll be able to hear my spirit break us Lord and mark us once again you are the potter and we are the clay in your hands break us Lord break what we know break us O oh Lord from every form of pride break us Lord from every form of doubtness doubting your word Doubting your ability. Break us, Lord. Break us, Lord. Break us, Lord. The same way Saul had an encounter with you. And you changed his life. You changed his name. And he began to preach your word. Break me, Lord. Break me, Lord. So that I can preach your word in power. I can preach your word in truth. I can preach your word in the spirit. Help us, Jesus. Asha rakata. Maraka kakatush. Raka kakatush. Maraka kadia. Masoprenisko proshia diaga. Elamonjaba. Siga soba. Asha pariga suka. Asha panda zubalia. Eshaga subalia La rusha bahas Ishazo Sharush 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 Ah super Lord from my childhood I have depended on you You have lifted me in the midst of dry bones you have lifted me even when men did not believe in me. You are my source of strength. The same way you had to strengthen somewhere. Strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen thy people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Once again, lift up your hands and welcome the Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Just lift your hands and welcome the Holy Spirit. You, you welcome the Holy Spirit by speaking in tongues. Lift your hands. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit. King of kings. King of glory. King of glory. 
King of Glory. King of Glory. Lift your hands high and welcome the Holy Spirit. Just welcome the Holy Spirit. Welcome his personality. Welcome his personality. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Lift up your hands. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Lift up your voice. Let's sing along. Elders, angels. Elders, angels, bow. Let the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Once again, holy. Come on. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Elders, angels, bow. Elders, angels, bow. Red and redeem, worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Lift up your hands, lift your voice once again. Come on. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Once again, come on. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Elders and just bow. Let the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Lift up the key once again. Come on. Sing. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. When you are worshiping, you lift up your hands and your voice. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Held as angels bow. Held as angels bow. Let the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Lift up your hands, speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Just release yourself. Release yourself. Once again, holy. Come on. 
Holy, holy. Lift your hands, come on. God, holy to the land who sees to you Lord you are Lord you are. so beautiful than silver Lord you are Lord you are. more costly more costly than gold Lord you are Lord you are more beautiful more beautiful than silver. Nothing I desire. Nothing I desire compares to you. The Lord is about to do something with you. Amen. I receive. I receive. I receive, man of God. I receive. I receive, Papa. Prophecy is not excitement. It's not entertainment. Amen. Prophecy is the unfolding of God's truth unto his people. Amen. The Lord is about to raise millionaires. Amen. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. There is a company called Millionaire Academy. Amen. Huh? Yes, I actually got a company called Billionaire Diaries. Billionaire something. Billionaire diaries. Diaries. Yes. To do with money. Yes, that's correct. Professor. Hey Amen, Papa. That's correct. That's correct. The Lord is going to open up a lot of business opportunities. Hey Amen. I receive. I receive. Why am I saying this? You are born celebrity. Hey Amen. I receive. I receive. I hear... Wait. I receive it. Who was the son of Abraham? The son of Abraham. Yes. Isaac. Isaac. Yes, that's my business partner. <laughs> Professor! 
Wow! Yes, uh, so Lift your hands, let's worship. a businessman Amen. not just a businessman go deeper, Papa. the Lord says there is a strange grace released for you I receive not only that Amen. the Lord is going to anoint you Amen. I receive I receive I receive and the reason why God is going to anoint you Amen. is for one thing Your heart is broken. Yes, Papa, that's correct. Why is your heart broken? Because two weeks ago, you buried your father. That's correct, Papa. We buried him two weeks ago. Professor! That's correct, Papa. That's correct. Two weeks ago, yes. you buried your father. Yes, that's correct. Your father was a good man. Yes, that's correct. God-fearing. Yes, that's correct. Very praying man. Absolutely. Asha, so shadiga, a so shadiga, malada da 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 sadi. It was on Wednesday. 
Yes, that's correct, Papa. That's correct. He passed away on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. Yes, that's correct. Asha Diga. And this woman now, she's very frustrated. Yes, Papa. Very frustrated. Yes, Papa. Very frustrated. That is true, Papa. In the spirit, I hear the Holy Spirit like a man speaking to a fellow man. This man This is a sickness. Yes, Papa. A sickness. That is true, Papa. That killed him. Yes, Papa. He got sick. And uh, after getting sick, I see Jabele Hasush. I see this man yes, Papa. loving God so much. That is true, Papa. And I see this man praying for this one. Yes, Papa. But before he died, there was no blessing. There was no blessing. Good, Papa. Did he bless his children? Did he bless the children? Um, when, when he died, we were, not, we were on our way to the hospital. Now, let me show you. Amen. Yes, Papa. It was around 15 hours. Yes, Papa. Three in the afternoon. Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. Three in the afternoon. That is true, Papa. You took him to the hospital. Yes, Papa. When you took him to the hospital, it was along the way. This man he had a transport business. This transportation, I don't know what is this. But I saw where the Lord is like there was an attack over his life. Yes, Papa. This was a premature death. Yes, Papa, that is true. And he this is two weeks. Two yes, weeks. Papa. The man is two weeks old in the grave. Yes, Papa. In the grave. And the Lord ministered to me. When your husband died, yes, Papa. your spiritual life went down. That is true, Papa. There was no one even to support you at your funeral. That is true, Papa. This man was a deacon. That's true, Papa. In the church, there was nothing like that. That's true, Papa. From there, your heart was so much broken. That is true, Papa. The Lord says... Yes, Papa. The Lord says, yes. forgive. Forgive. You are suffering with unforgiveness because of what happened with your husband. That is this true, man Papa. was a very good man. That is true, very, Papa. very, very good man. That is true, Papa. I wanted to know that your tears, they have reached the throne of God. Thank you, Jesus. Pow! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your tears. was born in July. July, July, July. Go deeper, Papa. Can I ask you, what happened last year, July, with this husband of yours? July. Do you know something to do with diabetes? I'm not too sure, Papa. Uh, this, uh, he's got a sister who passed on around about that time last year. Last year? Yes, Papa. So you buried last year. We buried last the sister. year, Papa. Yes. Huh? Yes, Papa. And then him this year. Yes, Papa. The Lord says no one will die again. Hallelujah. Thank you. I receive it, Papa. I receive it. Thank you. Oh, thank affliction you. will not arise again. Thank you, Papa. I receive it. It is the end of affliction. I receive it. Thank the Lord you, will give you victory. Thank you, Papa. The I Lord will turn it. around your life. I receive it, Papa. Thank Even you. what you have lost. Thank you, Papa. The Lord yes. says he will surprise you. I you will lift up your children. Your children will prosper. I receive it, Papa. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Pow. Thank you. you have cried a lot. Thank you, Jesus. Day and night you are crying. Yes, Papa, it is true. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Be of good cheer, woman. Amen. I receive, Papa. The Lord has given you victory. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I receive it. The 
Lord has given you victory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I receive it. Hold on to the faith. Amen. Don't lose your faith. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You're a praying woman. Amen. That is true, Papa. You're a praying woman. Thank you, Jesus. That is true. That's why the Lord has remembered you. Amen. Thank you, because Jesus. Of your prayer. Amen. I receive it. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Pow! It is done. It is done. It is done. The Lord has just wiped away your tears. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The devil is defeated. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sit down. It can only be God. Matthew chapter 4, verse 7. We are looking at a cardinal topic, prayer and uh, fasting. Prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. Prayer and fasting. Let's read Matthew chapter 4, verse number, number 1 to 7. Hallelujah. 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 Are you there? Yes, Papa. Are you there? Yes, Papa. Can we can we read? Can we read for me? One, two, three, go. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. Mm -hmm. After fasting forty days and forty nights. I want us to read it on top of our voices. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you there? Hmm? One, two, three, go. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, Throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Then Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm talking about something that I've captioned uh, prayer and fasting. And uh, when we talk about this topic, prayer and fasting. Fasting does not make your answer to come fast. And uh, a lot of people, they think when they fast, when they fast is making their answers to be fast. But you must understand that uh, fasting has a lot of meanings and uh, it has a lot of impact in the spirit. So prayer is coupled with fasting. In another way, if you must see God, if you must have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, not just a relationship, but intimacy, intimacy, okay, where the Holy Spirit becomes your friend, and you become the friend of the Holy Spirit. And where the Holy Spirit cannot withhold some certain levels of information. Because there is relationship. And that relationship is 
built by sacrifice. Okay. The relationship is built by sacrifice. So there are some certain dimensions of uh, prosperity that you will not see. There are some certain levels of wealthy that you will not see. There are some certain levels of uh, 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 healings that you will not see if you cannot uh, undergo the fundamental principle of prayer and fasting. Remember, it is a principle that must be applied. Okay? Prayer and fasting, it is a principle that must be applied. And you must understand that Jesus, being God, being God, at the same time being human, hallelujah, the Bible says he had to undergo prayer and fasting. Now, that scripture, Matthew chapter 4, the Bible says, then the Spirit of God, then the Spirit of God had to lead Jesus in the wilderness. In the wilderness. Now, you must understand the terminology wilderness, it means a desert, a place where there's no water, a place where there's no trees, a place where the sun scorches you. You can dehydrate within a twinkling of an eye. And that was a place where Jesus was being laid. And the Bible says the Holy Spirit had to lead Jesus. He did not lead himself. It was a leading of the Holy Spirit. So I'll teach you on types of fasting because there is a fasting that is called the leading fasting. The leading fasting where uh, 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 the Holy Spirit, he gives you a burden or maybe he demands of you. He demands of your presence. He wants to talk to you. He wants to, to have an interview with you. He wants to have a discussion with you. And he himself, he will lead you. So that kind of a fasting, the Bible says it was not uh, 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 it, 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 it was not Jesus making a decision. It was the Holy Spirit making a decision on behalf of Jesus. Even when Jesus did not want, the Holy Spirit had to lead him. So the Bible says, then the Holy Spirit had to lead Jesus in the wilderness. And the Bible says he went in the wilderness to go and fast for 40 days. He went in the wilderness to go and fast for 40 days. 40 days and 40, 40 nights. 40 days and 40 nights. The man was fasting as God. As God. Now I'm asking myself a question. Why is Jesus fasting? He's the son of God. He's the son of God. And you come to discover the life style of Jesus Christ is that every time, whenever he wanted to speak to God, he could separate himself from his disciples. So fasting is a lifestyle. It's not just about uh, 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 you just waking up, waking up and there's no food in the fridge and uh, you say, okay, today I've made up my decision. I'm, I'm beginning to fast. Am I talking to somebody here? So th th that is not fasting. That is punishing yourself. Praise God. Now, the Bible says, then he was led in the wilderness to go and fast for 40 days and 40 nights. And the Bible says, then, when he was fasting, remember it was the Holy Spirit who led him for a divine mandate, for a divine assignment. Every time when the Holy Spirit gives you an assignment to fast for 40 days and 40 nights, you must understand that he has, he has an agenda. He has an agenda with you. And the agenda of God, the agenda of God can, can never be revealed to normal people. The plans of God can never be revealed to normal people. Because God works with principles. He works with principles. He does not work like the way people work. Whenever he wants to speak to you, whenever he must reveal the deeper things of him, there must be 
that time, that concentration. Your mind must concentrate on God. Your thoughts must concentrate on God. Your body must be given to God. That's a reason we don't just serve God in the spirit. We serve God even with our bodies. That's the reason the Bible says, now present your bodies holy and living. Uh, as a living sacrifice. As a living sacrifice. Present it. And how do you present it? Your body is for service. So when you enter in fasting, your body also is put at work. Come on, say it's put at work. Say it is put at work. Your body, it is put at work whereby God begins to discipline. In another way, whenever you go into fasting, it is like the Holy Spirit becoming an engineer. And if there is anything that is wrong with your car, where do you take it? You take it for service. So fasting is like service. Where God begins to service your, your body. Because your body, your body it is too alive. Your body, it is too sensitive. It is too sensitive. You have got senses. You have got a sense of sight. You have got a sense of feeling. You have got a sense of smell. A sense of taste. A sense of touch. So whenever you go into fasting, what God does, he begins to deal with your flesh. He begins to deal with your flesh. Say my flesh. Say my flesh. Come on, lift your right and say my flesh. You know, a lot of people, they are so much in flesh. That's the reason they cannot hear God, even when God is speaking. Know that God is not speaking. God is a speaking God at all times. And the fact that you cannot hear him, that does not mean he doesn't speak. So, he wants to discipline your body. Your body must be disciplined. Your flesh must be disciplined. Your mind must be disciplined. Now, whenever you enter into fasting, there is what we call a transformation process. A transformation process. A transformation process. What happens is that, remember that your body is put into what? Discipline. Say discipline. Say discipline. In another way, your body undergoes torture. That's the reason, if you look at the life of Jesus Christ, it is a life of fasting. Any man of God who must have a mega church, who must be influential, any woman of God who must see in the spirit, any businessman, any entrepreneur, any worshiper, any musician who does not fast, that person is physical. Being physical, being physical is not, uh, 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 is, is not uh, having big masses. Being physical is a lack of fasting and prayer. So whenever you enter into fasting, God begins to deal with your body. Now the Bible says, then Jesus went into prayer and fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. And the Bible says, the Bible says, when he finished the prayer and fasting, the Bible says, the devil came. All this time, there was not the devil. All this time, the devil was not present. Which means every time when you enter fasting, the devil is just watching at you. He's waiting to hear what God, because the devil doesn't know what God is talking to you. But he must, you must understand that the devil is a suspicious devil. He is a very suspicious devil. That's the reason he will allow you go in fasting. He will not trouble you. And whenever you enter into fasting, God begins, he, he begins to reveal himself. There are things that are revealed in prayer and fasting. There are secrets that God reveals. And when, he, look, look, whenever a secret is revealed about your life, in that area you become triumphant. What makes a person to be successful is not how muscular he is. It's all about the secret or the gnosis or the pignosis, how much he knows. 
how much you have been fed, how much you are pregnant with. So whenever you enter prayer and fasting, there are things that God impregnates you with. Now the Bible says after Jesus finishing the fasting, the man was very weak. Very weak. Very weak. And the Bible says, then the devil appeared. And began to tempt him. How many people, how many people, how many people? Do you know the reason why the devil does not tempt you? It is a sign that you are not carrying fire. It is a sign that you are empty. I, I want to tell you this. If the devil does not tempt you, <laughs> I'm telling you, if the devil does not tempt you, it is a sign that you are nothing. You are nothing in your mind. You are nothing. You cannot even push the devil. You cannot even move the devil. Whenever he must attack you, he must first evaluate his invest. Whenever he must attack you, he must evaluate his invest, whether it will be returned unto him. So what I mean is that when Jesus was entering fasting, there was no the devil. The devil is not included. But when he he came out of fasting. We hear the devil being mentioned. Have you discovered when you don't have money, the devil is, he does not appear? Whenever you don't have money, the devil is nowhere. <laughs> because even him, for him to attack you, he said it is a waste of resources. It is a waste. I, 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 I want to tell you this. Even for him to, to attack you, he says, what am I going to attack? What does he have? What is this woman having? So before the devil attacks you, he needs to check what you have. What you have inside you. That's the reason the Bible says, the Bible says, we are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A peculiar people. A people after, after God's heart. Which means we are pregnant with destiny. So whenever, whenever he sees destiny, that's what attracts him. So whenever you see the enemy, the enemy is looking for you. He's looking for you. He's looking for your money. It is already a sign. So the devil will not come to you when you are, you are poor. Ask yourself, Go and ask a poor man, have you ever had demonic nightmares? <laughs> nightmares. Go and ask. You will find that the man has never even heard them. All these of witchcraft attacking them, they have never heard them. You know why? Even the witches, even the witches that say, why should we go and attack? The man has got no child, no house, huh? no house, nothing. Why should we bewitch him? Whenever you don't have money, the devil is not there. Whenever you don't have a car, the devil is not there. Whenever you don't have a bank account is not there. He's only waiting for you until you are pregnant. Until there is a divine deposit into your life. Whenever he sees that there is a divine deposit, God has deposited something into your life. Oh, it buffers him up. Now, he begins to have what we call a cabinet meeting. Because he has seen that you are worthy to, you are worthy for his invest. Now the Bible says when Jesus finished the prayer and fasting, the Bible says there the devil came. He was, 
There was no invitation letter. Your success itself will invite devils. <laughs> right it is. Right, right. Your success will invite devils. Whenever you see people hate you, they just don't like your face. You are very successful. Your success will invite the devil without appointment. Even when he was, he was not included, he will include himself. Your success will invite devils. Look, the Bible says when he just came out of fasting, after God speaking to him, after God talking to Jesus about what he's going to encounter, the Bible says Satan also appeared. Who invited him? How did he know? How did he know? He only came out on the last day. Last day when his, Jesus was finishing the fasting. That's when now the devil appeared. Have you discovered that when you are fasting, the last day is one of the difficult days? You must understand that the devil does not want you to accomplish, finish the purpose of God. That's the reason if you read the book of Zechariah chapter 5, the Bible says, the hands of Zerubbabel, they have laid the foundation of the temple and the same hands shall finish it. So in the plan of God, God wants you to start something and finish it. But the devil does not want you to finish. He wants you to, to start and stop. To start and stop. To start and stop. And that's the reason most of you, you cannot fast. Whenever you start fasting, you will feel hungry. I know when you, you are, when you are walking, you, when you are walking, the devil is just he will just he, he will just show you be like look at Nando's. Oh my god. <laughs> be like look at Nando's, look at Nando's, look at Nando's, look at that chicken, look at that chicken. And you'll be like, my Jesus. And he will make sure, he will make sure that look, look, all this time when you are not fasting, there was nobody, there was nobody buying for you food. And you're not hearing this. There was nobody buying you food. There was nobody bringing you groceries. But now somehow you have entered fasting. And it's like uh, some demonic, some demonic agents. Sent by the enemy. I'm telling you. You must understand that the devil does not want you to finish fasting. That's the reason whenever you enter fasting, you feel very angry. And you find that <laughs> when have you discovered when you are fasting you forget a lot? You forget a lot. As you be fasting, you'll be like shaba ba 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 shakalaba. And then somebody will come, a demonic agent will be like, hey, honey, how are you? Uh, should I, should I uh, look if 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 Satan passed through the wife of Job. What more your boss? What more your child? This happened to me. One day, I'm fasting. My boy came. Ah, daddy, daddy. Sweet, 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 sweet. I say, you. <laughs> Are you listening to this? I know funny, funny things, they happen. They happen during the time of fasting and you don't know why. Whenever you're not fasting, there's no problem. You are just normal. But when you start fasting, you find that somebody will bring, will bring a what? The leg of a chicken. And they'll be like, eh, eh. I'll be like, Mwah. As you are eating, you remember, like, ah! Oh! I am fasting. But like, you have already eaten. It is the enemy. You must understand. He's a very trick master. He does not want you to finish. To finish whatever you have started. Even look, 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 look. 
The reason why Jesus, Jesus entered the fasting is for God to reveal the victory that he is going to get on the cross of Calvary. So the work was already revealed in prayer and fasting. Whatever Jesus went through, it was revealed in prayer and fasting. So for the enemy to appear, that is already a sign to block the plan of God in Jesus. Out all this time when I was not fasting, you did not take me out. And for the past, for the past, for the past, for the past one week, ha! What I've seen, Jesus. I've, I've seen invitations. I've been receiving invitations in this church for food and outing. And I ask myself, I ask God, God, why is it that during the time when I'm not fasting, no church member invites me to their house? And when I arrive, they're like, Papa, we have prepared all this food. I just look at them, I say, you must understand whenever you are fasting, the devil, the devil, he is a suspicious devil. He knows that you are from meeting God. There's something that has transformed. Look, if Moses, the Bible says, then Moses went for 40 days and 40 night, 40 night to go and pray. And the Bible says, when he returned, the Bible says the glory of God, the fullness of God, the cupboard of God was upon his face. What more? What more Jesus? What more Jesus? So, when he finished, when he finished the fasting, okay, just write expectation of fasting. Expectation of fasting. Expectation of fasting. Number one, whenever you are fasting, expect the devil. I want to tell you this. Whenever you are fasting, expect the devil. Expect temptation. And temptation will come from different places. It will come from your husband. It will come from your wife. You know your wife, she'll just be annoyed of you. Your children will just be annoyed of you. Expect, expect, expect the enemy to use anybody. You know, the, 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 the devil is not a respecter. He's not a respecter of, 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 of suits. He uses anybody who is not prayerful. So you must understand that he can use anybody around you. He can use anybody to frustrate you so that you cannot finish what you have started. So what are the expectations? You will expect a lot of temptations. 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 You just find that people, they'll just begin to annoy you. They'll begin to annoy you. Whenever you get annoyed, you have already destroyed your fasting. You have already destroyed your fasting. Because fasting, you can never, you can never give God your body if you have not given him your heart. Are you listening? So expect, expect too much temptations. I was telling him, I was telling him, I said, I was telling him that, you know what? I've encountered too much, too much, because I know already what God is speaking. And the devil knows, he said, this guy, if he finishes, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. So the best thing, let him be an ordinary person. That's the reason fasting is very, is very, very hard. That's the reason you see men of God, men of God, they don't fast. Especially here in South Africa. To fast here in South Africa. Just walk here, just here, here. Whenever you stand by the garage, you see chickens. They are calling, you say, come. Come. Are you listening? And you know the food is very cheap. The food is very cheap. That's the reason it is very hard for men of God here to prosper. Because you, 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 any man of God who eats too much, 
That man of God is demon possessed. Being demon possessed, being demon possessed, being demon possessed is in a, d- d- too many dimensions. There is no way as a man of God you can have a vibrant ministry and an international impact you just eating from January to December. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. I even, now, the way I'm feeling now, like this, I'm too weak, but my spirit, even if you bring, even if you bring 100 people of HIV now, now, I will just tell you that go and hire uh, 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 maybe uh, a media company. I want them to shoot. Pa, 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 test. Negative, negative, negative. My body is weak, but my spirit. Expectation. You must expect the enemy to, to, to tempt you. The enemy. That's the reason you find that when you are in fasting, when you are in fasting, you find that demonic things they begin to happen. Have you discovered? When you are fasting, you hear a call. Your uncle has died. You have been fired from work. Yet you are fasting. He knows that this kind of a fasting that you are doing is, is, is causing him not to have peace. So expectation number one is expect the devil. Expect his agents. Now the devil will not come to you. Uh, 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 uh. He will not come to you uh, 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 as a devil or direct to you. The devil has got different forms. The Bible says he transforms himself into an angel of light. So which means there are people that look like your friends, yet inside them they are carrying devils. In another way, they are devils in flesh. So you, 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 whenever you are in fasting, don't look for the devil. The devil is in your midst. Are you listening? Are you listening? He can use anybody. He can use your pastor. He can use your relative. He can use any usher. He can use anybody to make you not to finish the fasting. And that's the reason you must hold your heart. Hold your heart. The Bible says, be still. Be still and know that I am God. As you are fasting, you need to have the knowledge. Even if when you go through these things, you hear bad news, still hold on to God. Finish your fasting. And there's victory waiting for you. Praise God. Number two, expectation. When Jesus was in prayer and fasting, the man was not hungry. The man was not hungry. You never hear where the scripture says, then Jesus ate. He was filled by the Spirit of God. But after prayer and the fasting, the Bible says even Satan knew that this man, he needs food. And the Bible says he came unto him, he said, if you are the Son of God, turn these stones to become bread. Do you know that if Jesus did not know the will of God, he would have done that? Huh? Do you know that? Do you know that? The Bible said, the devil said, if you are the son of God, turn these stones to become bread. Do you know why Satan said those words? Because he knew that the man is hungry. He needed the food. Food was a necessity. After fasting. That's the reason most of you, whenever you finish fasting, <laughs> some people they'll be like ah ah the moment you finish bah! hello sweetheart prepare my breakfast it is in the evening somebody saying breakfast <laughs> evening eh <laughs> and then lunch and then mid lunch and then supper and then mid supper, and then night supper. So the enemy, he will give you 
an abnormal anger. Yet when you see the food, you can't even eat. You can't even eat. So it was not in the will, in, it was not in the will of God. Jesus had the whole power to, to turn the stones to become bread. But he understood the scripture and he knew what God said about him. He was the Messiah. He was the Messiah. He would have even commanded the angels to bring for him food. But it is so devastating for Jesus as God Almighty to take an instruction from the devil. We don't take instructions from the devil. We take instructions from the Lord. So whenever you are in fasting, never allow the enemy to give you an instruction. That's the reason Jesus said, I don't take instructions from you. I am the son of God. I have all the ability. I know what God has said about me. And the Bible says, after, after he tempted him, remember that he tempted him for how many times? Three times. Huh? He tempted him how many times? Three times. The first one, turn the stones to become bread. The second one is what? Bow down. And what? And worship me. And I will give you. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. The first one, it says, turn these stones to become bread. Jesus said, I don't get instruction from you. I, I am your creator. There is, there is nowhere where a creature gives instruction to the creator. And when Satan knew that he has failed, the Bible says he came up with another trick. So listen to me. You in fasting, passing number one uh, uh, temptation does not mean the devil is quiet. He's still cooking some more porridge. He's coming. Problem after another problem. Trial after another trial. After Jesus passed number one, he took him to number two. Number two, bow down and worship me. And then I'm going to give you the whole earth. How can the creature give the creator the whole creation? It is impossible. Bible says, then Jesus answered, he said, he said what? Man shall only worship God alone. Are you listening to me here? Which means that whenever we are in fasting, and whenever we finish the fasting, Remember, when we're entering fasting, the devil was not there. Now we are out of fasting. Now he knows that you are carrying fire. He wants everything that you have received to go with him. The second thing is that bow down. Which means go back to where you came from. Go back to where you came from. Go back to your lifestyle. Go back to the life of drinking. Go back to the life of smoking. Go back to what you do. That's the reason most people, whenever they finish fasting, if they are not careful, their problem become worse. Become very worse. Because it's like fasting, it's like the devil was seated and you took a spear, you began to pierce on his rib. That's what fasting does. It arounds the devil. The devil does not want you to fast. That's the reason the watch, you will find the, you will find a prophet will declare say this week is fasting. You will see 10 people fast. The rest of the church nandos. That's how hard it is to fast. Then the Bible says then Satan took him on the te on top of the temple. He said throw yourself. Then God is going to send his angels to uphold you. Do you know what it means? Suicide. <laughs> Suicide. 
The devil is saying, now your time has come. You must die here. Your time has come. You must die here. And according to God, it was not his time. Because if Jesus had thrown himself down, all of us wouldn't have been saved. We wouldn't have been saved. So Satan is, is a destiny aborter. <laughs> if, if he cannot catch you in plan number one or plan number two, he's waiting for you for plan number three. He wants you to abort your destiny. He wants you to abort everything that you have worked for. He wants you to abort all what God has invested in you. So expect the what? The devil. Not just the devil. Also expect sisters and brothers. They'll come with a lot of talks, a lot of gossiping, all manner of things. The devil has a lot of devices. Number two, expectation. Is it number two? Huh? Oh, na, 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 is it number two? Number two is anger. Have we written? Number two. Number two. Expect anger. Not angry, anger. This one is dangerous. You know, there's a anger that even makes the heart to pain. Eh? That makes your heart to pain. Ours, I know in South Africa, uh, they say, hunger or henge. Oh, hunger or he, henge. I don't know how you pronounce it. The one who taught you English, go and ask him. Hallelujah. Me is hunger. Say hunger. Huh? How do you pronounce it? Huh? Hey, hey, what do you say? Uh, uh, what is your pronunciation? Hunger. Huh? Hunger. How, what is your pronunciation? Hunger. Huh? Hunger. Someone will be, someone will be like, Papa, it's not hunger, it's hunger. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyway, put the two hands for Jesus. Now, expect hunger. What I mean is that you will feel very hungry. Whereby your whole intestines will be giving you problem. Stomach, and let me tell you, whenever you're in fasting, whenever you're in fasting, whenever you are in fasting, watch yourself, watch your body, your body reaction. You will see. You will see. Watch your body reaction. Whenever you're in fasting, you become very sensitive. Very sensitive. So expect be angry. Jesus was angry also. You are not the first one. But he overcame. He overcame. Never eat to destroy the plan of God. If you make a vow that you shall go for 40 days, for 80 days, take it my brother. Take it. At the end of it, God will surprise you. Number three. Number three. Number three. Expectation. Expectation. Are you ready? Huh? Huh? Are you ready? Hmm? Window shopping. Right. Window shopping. Do you know what the devil told Satan? Do you, know, do you know what the devil told Jesus? He said, I will show you the riches. Eh? The riches of the what? Not I will give you. 
God is a giver. Satan, he shows. <laughs> Satan will just show you, but he can't give you. He will show you, say that. So, whenever, whenever you are in fasting, if the devil must disturb you, he will take you for window shopping. You discover you are in fasting. You are, you are thinking about the seedingo. You, you are thinking about the seedingo, yet you are in fasting. You are in fasting, you are thinking about uh, 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 Telemundo. You are in fasting, he will take you out of your body. And he will take you with your mind to begin to think about that ex-boyfriend. Jabulani. On Jabulo. And let me tell you, he'll begin, he will take you, he will begin to take you through a life experience, you and the Jabulo. He'll begin to show you how Jabulo was good. How he was taking you out. What he was doing to you. All what he is trying to do it is to win your attention. Whenever your attention has been shifted, God cannot speak to you. God wants your 100% concentration. He wants you to concentrate on him. He wants you to switch off your phone. Even your boss who fired you. He'll just call you from nowhere. When the devil loves to take people for window shopping. Through your mind, he'll begin to show you things. Show you things. Show you things that you cannot have. That he cannot even give to you. So expect that. That's the reason. Whenever he comes with such kind of a device, you must be able to rebuke him right there. That's the reason. If you want your fasting to be effectively and, and uh, 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 powerful, it is not how much, uh, 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 how strong your voice is. It's how much scriptures you know. The Bible says he has exalted his word above all his names. So if you want your fasting to be powerful, then you must be able to pray along with the word of God or along with the scriptures. Whenever you are praying, begin to quote scriptures. Lord, you said in your word that I am the healed of the Lord. You said, you said your word and your word came and healed all my diseases. As I'm fasting in these 21 days, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree I am healed. My sins are forgiven. Amen. My infirmities are healed. Amen. You begin to pray along to the scriptures. So, whenever you're fasting, do not forget it. That is there to take you for window shopping. And some of you have never gone, gone for window shopping. He will take you for free. Using a Rolls Royce. Santon. You've never been in Santon before. You've never been in Sandon before. You are in Sandon Bar. The enemy is a trick master. He wants your attention. Look, 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 look. In fasting, give God more time. Because he wants, he demands of your time. He wants to speak. Do you think that God speaks in two hours? 
Some of you, you just pray two, in two hours. Sha ba 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 ba. He re 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 re. And then you are now telling God. He said, "God, now I have prayed. It's your turn now." You just prayed for thirty minutes. You just prayed for what? Thirty minutes. You are expecting God to speak to you, yet you give your boyfriend four hours. Four hours. That's the reason he can't speak to you. That's the reason in fasting, give God more time. Give God your attention. Give God your body. Give God your mind. Give God your heart. Give God your hands. Give God your house. Be in the spirit. Be in the sp- be filled in the Holy Ghost. Pray in tongues more time. That's the reason. Whenever, whenever I'm, I'm in fasting, I speak in tongues. Whenever I go, whether I'm in the car, I'm just in the spirit. I, I, I know. It demands of my time. There is a way how he speaks to me, but I need to connect myself to the frequency that he uses for him to speak to me. So I must be in the spirit. I must pray in tongues. There are some of you, you don't pray in tongues when you're in fasting. That's the reason he cannot speak to you. So expect him to show you things. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Expectation. 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 Whenever God has spoken to you, now you are out of fasting. Have you ever discovered that you become blank? You forget everything. You forget everything. What he told you, you forget. He said, don't drink. Now you are out. Jabolo. I don't know who's in Jabulu here. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just don't know. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't, I don't know who's in Jabulu here. Praise God. Now, look, look, look. Whenever you're in fasting, you forget. That's a reason. Whenever you are fasting, you must have a book of vision. That's a reason. Most of the, let, let me show you something. Whenever I'm in fasting, I become so weak. So I must sleep a lot. So I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray. And sometimes I feel my body is very weak. It's very weak. So I will take a nap. So when I sleep, my body is unconscious. But my spirit is very effective. So when my spirit is very effective... It is very easy for God to speak to me. That's the reason most of the time when I'm in fasting, I must be able to write whatever he tells me. Instruction, I will just write, the Lord says this, the Lord says this, the Lord says this. I will write and write and write and write. Because I know when I come out of this fasting, he is waiting for me. And he, he might trigger my memory. Let me tell you, your mind cannot hold everything that God speaks to you. Your mind is just two gigabytes. And God is bringing 17 terabytes of information so you will burst. That's the reason you tend to forget because your mind it is too small. Your mind cannot hold, can never contain the information. That's the reason any man of God who God speaks to, if there are m- most of them that are very anointed, they transfer the knowledge of God through books. 
through books. Because the more you write, is the more somebody now become blessed. If you don't write, you forget revelation. You forget insight. There are things that God speaks to me. Only me. Only me here. And some of them, I'll just decide to keep quiet. It's like I don't know anything. Those that I need to keep, I keep them. Those that I need to write, I write them. So whenever he must speak to you, you must be able to have a book of what? Same, a book of vision. Sometimes you will dream. When you are fasting, you will dream. You, will, you begin to dream. Uh, next, next month, I'm beginning to have a school of prophets. And all of you, my sons, be strong. I would, you will lose. You will lose weight. From, from 80, you will come to 50. That school of prophets is only fasting, fasting, prayer. Fasting, prayer. And I'm, I'm beginning to raise serious prophets. You want to become a man of God? Eh? Eh, you want to become a man of God? You are ready to carry the cross. Okay. Clap hands for it. Write every vision that you see. There are important visions. When you are in fasting, God will begin to reveal to you. Write them down. Habakkuk, get the pen. Write the vision on the table. Though it may tarry, it shall come to pass. It does not lie. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. Hallelujah. Now, what must I do, right? What must I do before entering into fasting? What must I do before entering into fasting? There are things that you must do before entering into fasting. You don't just wake up and you say, okay, today I'm fasting. You don't. There are things to do. Number one. Number one. A vile. Making a vile. Making a vile. I have made a vow. Okay, okay. Read the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 10 verse 3. Let's read this scripture. We are closing very soon. Hallelujah. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsty of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, lift it up, make me whole. Come on, once I let's sing along. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsty of my soul. Bread of heaven, feel me till I want no more. Feel my cup, feed it up. Okay, Daniel chapter 10, verse number 1. Let's, I think, let's read. Okay, verse number 1, the Bible says, In the third year of Cyrus, the king of Persia, a revelation was given to Daniel. Listen, a revelation was given to Daniel. How was the revelation given to Daniel? I will show you. Verse number, uh, uh, a revelation was given to Daniel. Who was called Belshazzar? Its message was true and it concerned, it concerned a great war. The understanding of the message came to him 
in a vision in a vision while he was what while he was fasting god was revealing what is going to happen about the country god began to reveal this is what is going to happen daniel it was revealed by revelation praise god number 2 the bible says at that time i daniel mourned for 3 weeks this kind of a fasting i'll show you types of fasting we are, we we are going there types of fasting praise god the bible says at that time i daniel mourned for 3 me- 3 weeks i ate no choice food which means good food there was no meat you love meat daniel for 21 days he had to look himself not even meat not even anything that is precious he had to make a vow he said for the sake of the lord to speak to me i make a vow no wine no meat no vegetables will i eat At that time I Daniel mourned for 3 weeks. I ate no choice food, no meat, no wine, touched my lips. I used no lotion. I used no lotion. I will show you it's a kind of fasting. This kind of a fasting is called the sackcloth. Okay, I will, I will come to the types of fasting. Sackcloth, sackcloth. Sackcloth kind of a fasting. It is a fasting of supplication. Okay? I will show you. We are we are coming there. And I use I use no lotion at all till the 3 weeks we are over on the 20 on 24th day of the first month as I was standing on the bank of the great river of Tigris I looked up and uh, there before me was a man dressed in fine linen. Now, the man who is in 21 days prayer and fasting on, on, the, on, on, on 24th. Is it 24th or what? Huh? On the 24th what? On the 24th day, while the man is fasting, the Bible says he had a vision. Do you want to see visions? Huh? Do you want a vision you? Do you want to see about your boss, what is doing to you? Do you want to see about your life? You must fast. In the deep of fasting, that's where God reveals things. So, that kind of a fasting, I will show you. Now, remember, we are talking about things that are required. What must you do before entering into fasting? Number one, we are talking about vow making. Making a vow. And how do you make a vow? You make a vow by your mouth. Ecclesiastes says, whatever you vow, you shall honor. Whenever you tell God that God, I shall enter in fasting for 21 days, you have already secured an appointment with God. And God is prepared to reveal himself to you. Vow. Making a vow. Making a vow. Number two. Before, before entering into fasting, remember that you have made a vow. The second thing that you must do, it is to seal your vow by communion. Before. You, you don't know these things. Number two, communion, holy communion. For example, now today I am making a vow and uh, I've made up my mind that tomorrow I am starting my fasting. Before I start, today I will make a vow and after making a vow, I will seal my vow with communion. And uh, communion, communion we use uh, 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 the blood of Jesus and the body 
of Jesus. Why the body of Jesus? You are praying that God must strengthen your body. Am I talking to somebody here? So we use no more bread and no more drink. No more drink. No more drink. The Bible says do this in a remembrance of me. So before you start, you must remember him first. Before you start, you must remember him. So now you are you have now sealed your vow with communion. Your heart is ready. Your body is ready. Number three. The word of God. The word of God. Those are the necessity whenever you are fasting. While I'm talking about these are spiritual things. Now let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh no. All these people here. All these people here. All these people. I can tell you. You being in business without fasting very soon the enemy will attack you. I promise you. What protects your business is your vile. You must select a day of fasting in your business. You say this is a day of the Lord. So in that day you are fasting, you have given, you have given your heart to the Lord. Even God will begin to amaze you. That's the reason most people, most businessmen, most business women who don't fast, they encounter a lot of problems. You take your goods by the border, they seize them. By the airport, they seize them because you lack fasting. You are not in agreement with the Lord. Praise God. So the word of God must be involved. Whenever, whenever, now you are about to start the fasting, you now need to begin to read the word, to read the word, to read the word, read the word, read scriptures. Every day, Meditate on one scripture. And whatever God tells you, have even a pen. Begin to underline the scriptures. Underline the scriptures. Number three. Number four. Number four. Worship songs. Worship songs. Worship songs. Songs that can lift up your faith. Songs that can impact you. And as you are listening to songs, value your environment very much. Because whenever you are fasting, environment plays a major role. Listen to gospel songs like deep worship. Songs that can touch your soul. Songs that can push you to pray. Songs that can prompt you to begin to cry to God, to open up your heart. There are most of you, when you enter prayer, you just keep quiet. When you enter prayer and fasting, you keep quiet. That is not fasting. In fasting, whenever you enter fasting, you must speak to God. It's not you keeping quiet. You must talk to God at any time, at any hour, any minute your mind must talk to God your hands your hands must be for God your heart must be for God so you end up fasting you don't talk you don't pray why you then stop you are in fasting you are hello hello stop hey, hello hello you are in fasting hello ah have you seen that prophet hey, hey. Mara. Ah. Then what are you doing? That's the reason you miss your fasting. You look, I have made a vow with my mouth whenever I am in fasting. That's the reason God trusts me with a lot of secrets of people. I can know a lot of things about a lot of people here. Even if I can call you one, one, one. I know a lot of things. God trusts secrets with somebody who can give himself to the Lord. Praise God. So whenever you're in fasting, what do you do? You talk. Quote 
scriptures. Lord, you say in this word. You pray as you are quoting scriptures. Number, th- number, f- number five. Speaking in tongues. You miss that thing. That's the reason. This church must know how to speak in tongues. What are you doing if you are here? You don't know how to speak in tongues. You're not a Christian. There's no sign that you're a Christian because the number one sign that you're a Christian is a baptism of the Holy Ghost. You must be filled in the Spirit. Whenever the prophet tells you, speak in tongues, my God, it is an opportunity now. You lift up your hands, you'll be like, Roko Bakatosh, Rakakatosh Kopa. No, you don't wait for your friend now. I see a lot of people, you know, I tell them, pray. I, I tell them, speak in tongues. They are now busy looking at their friends. You are missing something. Speaking in tongues energizes your spiritual life. Not energizing it, but also it grows and activates your spirit. That's the reason you must learn how to speak in tongues. Ask for the Holy Spirit. 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 Lift up your hands. Speak in tongues. Lift your hands. Whenever you are praying in tongues, you lift your hands and shake your hands. It is like a catalyst. The Bible says in the upper room there was noise. There was noise in the upper room. Everyone had to mind their own business. Rakakatush. Marakatush. Elerisho kopakata. Rakakatosho kokopolegia. You will feel something inside you. Whenever you pray in tongues and you don't feel anything. Rosha diga baradosh. La ronge vengi baranosh ovehe. La crucia procopri e veren sovrakiava. Le croce venesco vaha suvraheta. Erakia suka praniso. Le croce braniso fahadibi. La rocha baha. Melusha baha. Oh Jesus. Feel our hearts with your presence. Feel our hearts with your presence. Masha Krakatos. Maro Veneve. Shabahaso. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Shout amen. amen. Your spirit bears witness. Whenever, that's the reason most people, whenever a prophet stands before you, the first thing that he does it is to access the spiritual lives of the people that he's leading. That's the reason. The first thing when you see me, I'm, I'm here, I normally tell you, speak in tongues. I'm, I'm giving you an opportunity to throw yourself in the spirit. Throw yourself in the spirit. Don't mind about your friend. Don't mind about who you came with. It's, it's you and God. And whenever you're speaking in tongues, lift up your hands, pray like this. La kosha prakatush, la rosha baha, sumre neja bala riko shabaka, ruka tiza zubla liya. You you are even feeling it. The Lord, as you are praying in tongues, that's the reason you see me when I'm prophesying to you. I need to pray in tongues because the more I am praying in tongues, I am interpreting what God is telling me. Oh Jesus. Speaking in tongues is a necessity. It's a necessity. It's a necessity. 
I'll just enter my room. La jo prakatiga so maya karagia sukalia dusha mahato likrosha maha sukea baroshebia rakatosha. When I feel, when I feel like uh, 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 speaking in tongues is becoming a problem, I go to scriptures. I begin to quote scriptures. Lord, you have said in your word. You have written this in your word. I begin to quote according to what he has said. You say in your word, according to the book of Job chapter 5, verse 12, that you shall disappoint the plans of the enemy and cause my adversaries not to perform their enterprises. Therefore, I stand on your word. After this fasting, my adversaries, they shall be no more. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I am the head and never the tail. I am blessed. My hands are blessed. My children are blessed. My family is blessed. My wife is blessed. My husband is blessed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, you said in your word that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Therefore, I decree finances. I am a success. I am healed. I am delivered. My children are delivered. My ministry is growing from glory to glory, favor to favor. I am not a project of disappointment. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 18, he said, I have given you power, power, power of death and the life. Power of death and the life. I decree and declare by the power of God over my tongue, I declare sickness out of my life. Sickness out of my life. Poverty out of my life. Frustration out of my life. This is the way you pray. As you are declaring, God is giving you secrets. He's giving you scriptures. My God, shout hallelujah. Amen. Power. You declare. You declare. You declare. You must understand in fasting you have got so much authority. Too much authority. There is no time that you have authority. Like when you are in fasting. That's the reason Elisha could not perform miracle when he was alive. He struggled to raise a dead child. He prayed seven times. He failed to raise a dead child. But when he died, the Bible says the bones of Elisha came close to a dead cop. The Bible said there was no need of prayer. The dead cop came back to life. Whenever you die to your body, it's not easy to prophesy. It becomes easy to prophesy. It becomes easy to do miracles. It becomes easy to be successful. It becomes easy even to take the power. Even to take the power. You know, that's the reason you find that I'll call three people. I'll call three people. I say receive. You find that two people, they'll receive. The other one will stand like a monument. You don't know how to activate the power. Take! Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Your spirit has caught it up. Are you listening? Yes. Your spirit has what? Has caught it up. That's the reason. You must be so spiritual. You must be very sensitive. And the fasting makes you to be spiritually sensitive. That's the reason you find that there will be four people. You say, take the power. Take the power. The same hand, the same hand that has released the power has touched two people. Yet another person, he will be saying, no, I don't feel anything. No, I don't feel anything. It's not, it's not the prophet. It is you. You are not receptive to the power of God. You're not receptive to the power of God. You must allow. Things of God are very easy. That's the reason you find that I'll call three people I say, take, take. You find another person who'll be like. Yet other people, it is very easy to receive. It's because they are not sensitive. If you, are not, if you are not in fasting, you will never be sensitive to the Spirit of God. Even if when the Spirit of God is moving, you will not feel Him. You are too sensitive. You want Him to move physically. You'll be looking for Him. Where is He? 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 You are too carnal. Too carnal. Too carnal. That's the reason the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God, the way He uses me, you can't even imagine. I'll just come to you, I'll tell you, this is what God, you have never met me, you have never talked to me, and I'm telling you these things. Receptive to the Spirit of God. That's the reason you find that, you know, <laughs> the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, whenever, that's the reason, Jude chapter 1, 
the, uh, the Judy uh, 20, the Bible says, Beloved, praying in the what? In the Holy Ghost. In the what? In the Holy Ghost. Building up your innermost faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. So whenever you are praying in tongues, do you know what you are doing? You are growing in the spirit. Oh my God, you are not hearing this. Amen. You are growing in the spirit. Amen. You are being enlightened. You are, you are having a certain level of understanding in the spirit. That's the reason I love praying in, in tongues. And the church must adapt to the system of speaking in tongues. We believe in the movement of the Holy Spirit. This is not just a church where we just come, we excite you. This is a church that is led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Are you listening to me here? That's the reason I allow the Holy Spirit. If he wants to touch you, allow him. It is your heart. Do you know that the Holy Spirit can bounce? He can bounce. That's the reason. He wants to speak to you. But you are not ready. You are not receptive. He's bouncing. He's going back. That's the reason the Bible says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit that you were sealed with from the day of your redemption. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31. Do not, do not grieve him. How can you grieve him? By your doubt. He's moving, but you still doubt him. He's moving, but you still doubt him. <laughs> Before you, he, he has touched you, he has touched you, but you are looking down and be like, oh, should I fall? He's just touched you. And you're looking down like, oh, you know me, I'm a clean man. Should I fall? Should I fall? Ah, no, I'm a CEO. That's the reason he will never use you. The things of God, you must open up your heart. If he wants to touch you, if he wants to touch, let him touch you. Let him move in your life. My God, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Lift your hand, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Are you listening? Are you listening? Amen. How come? Have you discovered that? I was I will I will touch I will touch four people, and two will receive, and the other one will be standing. They say I do, I did not feel anything. The difference there is not that the spirit did not move. The difference is the heart. The heart. The heart of the man. With the heart, we believe unto salvation and with our mouth we converse <laughs> I believe that the Holy Spirit is using me that's the reason I'm confessing that he can even touch you are you listening are you listening are you listening Amen. are you listening Amen. say I will speak in tongues say I will speak in tongues I will speak in tongues Speaking tongues. Ha, you are walking, you are entering your office. You'll be like, Show Manusha Balaliso. Lorish Ubalaliso. Likra Kakatusha. Malenesia Bahaso. Lakra Katusha. Before you start signing, before you start signing some mud billion contracts, you find a certain corner there. You say, Shadi Gazuka. Ida da. Marosha Katatosh. Do you know what you are doing? Do you know what you are doing there? You are, you are energizing you. You are energizing yourself. Yes. You are simply adding more fire to your spiritual life. My God. That's the reason. The church, we need more spiritual people. Before you usher, find a certain place there. Just alone. Not, no pastor. No prophet. You'll be like, Bariga. Zika, Zika, Lucha, Barakita. Mika, Raka, Dusha, Laka, Raka. That's the way you grow. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Lift your hand, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Yes. Oi. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine. Before you enter your car, before you just after entering your car, pa, you are on your ignition. You take the keys, you start. Jemaru Shaliga. Zelene Paradia Sigaha. Mokrakato Shokopa. Yuka, I prophesy to you. You shall take me to my destination. The car has got ears. Yes. He's yes. gonna hear. My, yes. Do you know what you are talking about there? Ah. The car has got ears. Yes. When you are speaking in tongues, he's gonna hear you. Ah. How? You are going to your bank account. 
before before you withdraw, you take your ATM. He said, "No shall Nimo sell the hair. Marosha digo suplanizo la cria canabahaso." You prophesy to your ATM. He said, "You ATM, you will never be book balance. Mashome ene bene nish." You go there. You put my arush. of God are you go to your saloon the, the, the hairdresser they are busy doing your hair you don't know what they are putting in your hair are you listening to me here yes. as they are doing the hair you are busy also speaking anyone who is touching my hair Barusha Nizose Eliga Supranizo Ligra Hasso Prenesh hey are you listening yes before you employ your security guard he brings the CV. Yes. You take the CV. Yes. You put it on your altar. Yes. You say, John, Yalush Adiga Subali. Elaro Shalia Guzali Adanea Sala. Holy Spirit, reveal who John is. That's the way you grow. You just employ everybody. You employ your mate. You employ your mate. You don't know maybe he's a satanist. The owner of the house is initiated. Because he, 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 he's not in the spirit. I receive it. Before I eat my food, I say, Even though there is poison, I will eat it. Marusha It will make me fat. I decree and declare. The Bible says, You shall eat deadly things. And it shall not harm you. So come in a very shalia. Hi. Come on, speaking tongues, speaking tongues, speaking tongues. Hi, I saw Talaraka Taraba. Mata la Hato Leka Toraboshal. He saw Padala Hata Lakota. He mana, he saw Tamana la Hatata. He saw Talabada la Kina Hata Labata. He mana, he caught Talabada la Sotanama. Praise God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. This is the way you live. Huh? Your boyfriend is about to take you out. You say, hold on a little bit. Hold on a little bit. You enter in your secret house. He said, Moshe diga zuba. Ela rakatosh. You first release. Karakakakata. Are you listening? Yes. You release yourself. You release. You pass yourself. Then you come out. Your eyes are fire eyes. Your hair fire eyes. Your suit is fire eyes. That's the reason you miss a lot of things because you are not on fire. You are normal people. You don't pray in tanks. <sighs> you are missing something. You are missing something. You are missing. You are you are talking to a prophet. You are talking to a prophet. Don't no, just keep quiet in your heart. You know what you are doing there? The prophet is about to speak to you. Your tongue is like it's opening up his eyes. Power. Ah. Never appear before a prophet. You are just quite big deep to pray. Be receptive. Be sensitive to the spirit of God. And you will see the spirit of God is going to use you. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last thing. Last. 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 Speaking in tongues. You don't know what it is. <laughs> Whether you're a protocol. Peter was a protocol of Jesus. Yet the man. The Bible says on the day of Pentecost. Now, 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 now let me tell you something. Hey. Look, look. There, the, 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 when, whenever you are praying in tongues, there are two dimensions. 
Are you listening? How many dimensions? Two dimensions. There are two dimensions. How many dimensions? Huh? Two dimensions. Number one, the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples. It came upon them. Eh? Eh? Whenever you are praying in the Spirit, the Holy Ghost has got dimensions. Okay? There is a dimension where He can come on you. Okay? And that level, it is a level of service. So, for example, for example, if I want to operate, the Holy Ghost must come on me. Huh? You stand up. You, you, you stand up. Stand up. Jesus! Do you see that? Huh? Do you see that? Huh? Do you see that? Huh? Okay, sister, anyone st stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Jesus! Do you see that? Huh? He has come on me. He has come on me. It is for service. Now I can throw him on you. That's the reason. You know, you know, let me tell you. The Holy Ghost is like chicken pox. Huh? Whenever we are seated, if somebody, if somebody, the Holy Ghost has touched it touches you also. The Holy Ghost is like chicken pox. You hear somebody speaking in tongues. Also, you, your spirit is bubbling. You can never sit to somebody who is speaking in tongues and you just to be quiet. So when the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost can come on you, that is a level of service. For example, when I want to perform miracles, he must come on me. He must come on me. There is another dimension, the Holy Spirit in me. In me. He's in me. He's in me. And how do I talk to him when he's in me? It takes a certain level of maturity. Of maturity. How must I hear him when he's in me? Concentration. Meditation. Meditation. Fasting. He begin to speak in you. Reveal himself. Are you listening? The number four thing. Whenever the last, number six, the last thing, whenever you are finishing your fasting, you are finishing your fasting. Remember you started with a vow. Eh? Eh? You finish with a vow. You say, now Lord, I have made a vow. What you have spoken in this prayer and fasting is an agreement between you and me. So that when the, even if when you are out, God will be your shield. There is already what? A vow. And after making a vow, now the last thing is a thanksgiving. Now you thank God. Lord, I thank you. You have given me this strength. Thank you, Lord. You have made me to see you. Thank you, Lord. You have spoken to me. Thank you, Lord. You have given me strength. Thank you, Lord. You have provided for me. Now you finish with what? Thanks. So, we are done for today. Power. Clap your hands for Jesus. Power. We are done. So, next uh, Thursday, I'm teaching you types of fasting. Huh? There are about 21. Okay? 21. I'm going to teach you types of fasting. And types of prayer. Okay. The prayer that you must use when you are in fasting. Most of you, look, there, 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 there is a fasting called warfare fasting. And that one is a fasting that needs you to be like a soldier. That one you scream, hey, I break you, I do work, I sit on you, this and that. Are you listening? That demands of your, your strength. Your strength. And there's a fasting that is called sacros. It's called a uh, 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 fasting, fasting of uh, supplication. Okay? Supplication. And the fasting of supplication goes with supplication prayers. 
So every fasting, there is a key of prayer that you must use. Do you know supplication prayers? Do you know? Huh? Huh? You don't know supplication prayers? Huh? 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 Supplication prayers, these are prayers simply acknowledging the ability of God. It's not thanking God, but is acknowledging or acknowledgement of what, what, who he is and what he can do and what he has done. So for example, like David when he sinned, eh? like when David sinned, it was not a prayer of repentance. It was a prayer of supplication. He said, the Lord, do not cast me in the hands of my enemies. At least cast me in your hands. In your hands there is mercy. So you have acknowledged that you are guilty, but then you see that God is a forgiving God. And you begin to remind him, you say, Lord, even when I am a sinner, even when I am poor, even when I am not worthy, even when I am not qualified, I know you are God who qualifies the unqualifiable. Are you listening to me here? You begin to remind him. Now, when you begin to remind him, it's like God now feels very well. You say, You know, before you go to the king, you begin to first appreciate the king. Especially in Nigeria. Igwe. Igwe is number one. Huh? Igwe. This is what they say. Igwe, Igwe number one. Son of Soso and Soso. The late father of Soso and Soso. The one, the one who conquered Soso and Soso. That is praise. So whenever they are praising the king, they are opening up the heart of the king so that the king can release the treasure. So that prayer is called supplication prayers. And those are the prayers I pray. Whenever you see me, I only just come, Father, I thank you because I know, I know you are merciful. I know, I know you are this. 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 Are you listening? That's the reason when you see me on, on the altar, the first thing, I begin to praise him. You are our advocate, our judge, our teacher, our healer, our defender, our Jehovah El Shaddai, the most breasted one. Even when one breast finishes, the other one is waiting. Are you listening to me here? Is Jehovah El Shaddai? Is Jehovah El Elyon? Is Jehovah Ebenezer? Is Jehovah Tandukeno? Is Jehovah Roy? Is Jehovah Jam Protocol? Why they called him Jehovah Jam Protocol? They called him because of what he did. So you can call him Jehovah my Rolls Royce. Whenever you see your Rolls Royce, say Alusha Balia. Jehovah my Rolls Royce. Jehovah my seven bedroom house. Jehovah, my husband. Ah. I receive it. Jehovah, my husband. You can never call him Jehovah if he has never done anything. So if I call him Jehovah Jump Protocol, it's because he's made a side and specialized in jumping protocol. Yes. I call him Jehovah Overdose. 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 When he wants to bless you, he bless you nyafu nyafu. Yes. To the point that even your pocket, even your account begins to complain for space. Power. So we, that's the reason. Whenever you enter fasting, I will show you. You first begin to appreciate him. You are Jehovah this. 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 And supplication prayers goes with crying tears. 
That's the reason you see the Bible says, then Daniel was mourning for 21 days. It is a, it is, it is, it is a prayer coming out from the depth of your heart. It's not just you just becoming physical. No. It's whereby you cry. You see a man when he, he comes on the altar. You hear a man cry, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. You are this. He, he has touched his heart. Now the man cannot control himself. The only thing to do it is just to pour out his heart. Whenever you see a man crying, which means he has been touched by a certain force from heaven. Are you listening? There is no man who is strong before the presence of God. Even me, when you see me in fasting, I cry. I will cry. Oh God, where can I run to? Seeing that enemies are all over me, seeing that people they don't love me, seeing that everyone is just against me, where am I going to run to? But you have said in your word, you are the mighty man, you are a mighty tower, Amen. where the righteous Amen. run to and they find rest. I run to you, Lord. I run to you. You are my source of help, you are my source of encouragement. Are you listening? I lift it up. 
Continue praying in tongues. Continue. Praying. Lift your hands high. <laughs> on the mixer lift up my microphone lift up your hands everyone lift up your hands I want you to lift up your voice and I want us to sing this song and uh, God is going to do wonderful things God is not condemning you he said come as you are come as you are lift up your hands How great thou art, how great thou art. Come on, I want to hear the voice. How great thou art, how great. Come on, I want to hear your voice. Come on, once again. How great thou art. Lift up your hands. Come on. How See how great he is. How great thou art. How great thou How great. How great thou art. How great thou art. How great thou art. Sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Lift up your hands, come on. How great thou art. Oh, the sings my soul, my soul, my Savior God. How great the world, how great the world, how great the world, the seeds my soul, my soul, my soul, how great the world,
yourself. Come on. And declare. I receive. I decree and declare. I receive it. Shout it. I decree and declare. I receive that the Spirit of God will give you power. I receive it. That you shall grow from strength to strength. I receive it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I receive. I decree and declare. I receive. Every thorn in the flesh is removed. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. I see your mind being enlightened by the word of God. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. I see the rhema coming. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. I pray for you wherever you are. I receive it. I decree and declare. I receive it. That you are growing in the Holy Ghost. I receive it. You are growing in speaking in tongues. You are growing in attendance. I receive it. You are growing in the knowledge of I Jesus. It. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I, receive I decree and declare. I receive it. The Lord is making a way. Where there seems to be no way. That which was difficult for you. The Lord has made a way for you. I, I see victory for you. He said, you little children, rejoice, for you have defeated the enemy. I see victory for you. Victory for your family. Victory for your career. Victory for your business. In the name of Jesus, I hear good news coming for you. This week, you shall move in good news. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Power. I hear.
hear the Lord saying, Tell my people, I receive it. This week they shall hear good news. I receive it. Even that which was difficult for them. I receive it. The Lord says He's making a way for you. I receive it. The Lord says, You ye shall part the Red Sea. I receive it. And you shall walk on dry ground. I receive it. Says the Spirit of the Lord. I receive it. He said, Tonight there shall be an angelic visitation. I receive it. He will visit you in revelation. I receive it. He will visit you in dreams. I receive it. As your hands are lifted, lift your hands. Amen. I see smoke. And I ask the Lord, Lord, what is this? And the Lord says, This is my presence for my people. He said, This is my presence for my people. I will do what no man can do. I receive it. He said, I'm going to touch their lines. I receive it. Lift up your hands wherever you are and believe with your heart. I receive it. I see this cloud of glory, this smoke, this smoke, this smoke, this smoke. Just pray in tongues, just pray in tongues. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. This smoke is going to move. Be sensitive. It's going to move. It's going to move. It's going to move. That's a smoke. It's a smoke. It is a smoke. It is a smoke. It's a smoke. It's coming right there. It is a smoke. His presence. His presence. His presence. His presence. His presence. <laughs> it's coming right there. 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 His presence. 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 The glory. The glory. The glory. The glory. The glory of God. The glory, the glory, the glory of God, the glory of God. You shall feel the brain in the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. God's spirit right now. God's spirit right now. Sister, that's a glory. Allow him. Allow him. Allow him. Allow him, sister. That's a glory. That's a glory. That's a glory. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Can you remove this thing? Remove this thing. How great the one. How great. All those who want to be filled with the Spirit of God, run here now. Run here now. Lift up your hands. 
lift up your hands. Masha Diga. How great thou art. How great thou art. You want to be filled. How great thou art. 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 Hurry up, hurry up, lift your hands. Thou art. Pray, thanks, pray, thanks, pray, pray, pray in the spirit. Pray, pray. jacket here. Bring your jacket. Remove your jacket. Remove your jacket. Lift your hand. Pray. 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 How great the war. How great the war. How great the war. How great. Hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. Pray tongues. Pray tongues. Hold hands, hold hands. Come close, come close, come close. Come close, come close, come close. Come close. How great the world. How great the world. How great the world. Pray, pray, pray. Woo! Come close, come close to the altar, come close to the altar. Pray, thanks, pray, pray, pray. Come close to the altar. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Pray in the spirit. You want the anointing tonight. You shall remember that the Lord touched you. Hold hands, hold hands, hold hands and lift up your hands. Pray, 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 pray. Today the Lord will touch you. Wherever you are, the power, the power. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Take it! Take! 
The praises of God, the sweet spirit of God, Jehovah Himself. Hey, brother, 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 take, take it, take it. your hands wherever you are. Thank you for the power you have received. Thank you for the power you have received. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shadi kusu Shadi go Shadi masu Asu Shadi so shall I so shall I so so shadi, so oh, I just love you, Jesus. So shadi, I crush so. Ano shadi, so shasu. Maso Shadiga, Maso Shadiga, Maso Shadiga, Maso Thank you, Jesus. 
Shani Kosu Eso Shani Ila Su Shani started a good work in you Amen. shall see it unto the day of accomplishment. Amen. Thank you Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you King of Kings. Amen. Thank you for your grace. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Lift your hand and shout Amen. Amen. Wave your hand and give him praise wherever you are. Come on. Give him praise. Give him praise. 
Give him praise. I promise you, your life will never be the same again. I receive it. Even when you are going home, this spirit of prayer that has been imparted in you, I receive it. It will not depart again. I receive it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I receive it. You are blessed. I receive it. You are blessed. I receive it. Put your two hands and take your seats. Come on. Wow. Clap your hands. Come on. Come on. Continue clapping. Continue clapping. Oh, my viewers, I believe you have been blessed. I want you to know that we are in prayers. We are fasting. We are busy believing God for something huge. So join me. Join me in prayer and fasting. And I promise you that your life will never be the same again. God will solve your problem. Join me in these 40 days prayer and fasting. And I believe that whatever has been in your life for quite a long time, after these 40 days prayer and fasting, there will be miracles like popcorns. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Shalom, shalom. Put the two hands for Jesus.